Hey, welcome to Jelly Vision. I'm Uncle Leroy, and my nephew, Grape Jelly, has lined up a special guest star. We're going to get him. He's all the way in Hollywood or Los Angeles, California. You know, California's pretty big, you know. So Leroy's just going to say he's from Cali. He's coming. He's tuning in all the way from Cali. So without further ado, I want to introduce to you all, to the world, Truth TV, Operation Repo, Ronnie Lee. Welcome to the Jellyvision, Ronnie. How you doing? I'm Uncle Leroy. Hey, man, what's going on? That's your boy, Ronnie Lee. You know what I'm saying? On Jellyvision. You know what I'm saying? Very happy to be here. Well, if you don't mind, I'm just going to, you know, jump right into, into it. And, uh, you know, where are you originally from, big guy? Definitely a Washington, D.C. native, you know what I'm saying? Grew up in the D.C. area my whole life. Lived out Silver Spring, out of White Oak to about high school, you know what I'm saying? Then I moved uptown with Pops, you know what I'm saying? That's when I went to Dunn and met your man Mac Chicken, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, question number two. How would you say you, you began or got started on your career path, young man? Hey, it just started early, man. I knew I wanted a career in entertainment, like, from a little, little boy. And, you know, I went to school for it. I minored in theater in college. Uh, after football, I thought I was going to be playing football for a while, but I got injured and got cut short. So I came home and had to be off my Al Bundy, you know what I'm saying, and slanging shoes to save me a couple stacks to move out here. And that's how I was, man. I kept putting my face out there in front of people, and it worked out for me. Excellent. Well, but, but tell me a little bit how, how you became Ronnie Oppo. How did you become Repo Oppo Ronnie, Ronnie Operation Repo? I mean, how did you become this person, this great, big, massive Ronnie Oppo? Because this is a great, big show that appeals to a massive audience. So how did you become Ronnie Op Operation Ronnie? Elaborate for us. I became Ronnie Repo, huh? Well, pretty much, man, I was working security in Hollywood, you know what I mean? And I was just the right place at the right time. So at first, you know, everybody said they had producing something, so I was kind of like, whatever, dog. But dude hit me up. They took me for like a little run through, you know what I'm saying, to see how I handled it, and they liked me, and the rest is history. Okay. Well, in the line of work, and you're taking people's cars and everything, I'm, I'm pretty sure people get mad. Because if you touch my car, bro, I'm going to let you know something good. <clears throat> Even though you are a big fella, <clears throat> do you fear that someone will retaliate for repoing their car or their automobile? Because it might be a truck or a boat you have to repo. I'm not sure. But in any event, do you worry about someone retaliating, basically, is what I'm asking you? I don't really think about it too much, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure some people are probably mad, but all I could do is do my job, man, and keep my little mace strapped on me in case somebody run up on me while I ain't looking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, let's dig a little deeper. And so tell me, what do you do or will you do in the instance that your life is threatened on the show. <clears throat> you see? Because if I get in the repo business in the game, you gotta you gonna have to go through my little guns here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't tote no 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 gun or no heat, but I got the hands of steel. You know what I mean? Anyways, as I was saying, what do you do if your life is threatened on the show, basically? Get out of there, dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why we got the cameras around, just in case somebody do start tripping. You know what I mean? That kind of scare them away. But other than that, somebody we got security on the show that'll put somebody down if they get out of line. So, you know, I just try to stay out the way. If somebody come tripping, you know what I'm saying? I tell the producers that like, I'm about to get out of here and let the security handle it. Well, Ronnie... Because I follow you on social networks such as Facebook and Instagram, I see that you do a lot of 
lifting of the weights and working out, big fella? Is this a requirement to work out to be on the show, Operation Repo? Because you're dealing with a lot of people and you're going to have to be able to take care of yourself? Nope, maybe. Because Leroy has is top gun. I am top fucking gun. Leroy served in Vietnam. I fuck you over, bitch. In the ways. <clears throat> Let me backtrack. Again, Ronnie. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but basically what I'm asking you is, is it a requirement to work out to be on the show? Operation Repo. I, I, I know I keep on... Just saying the same shit over. But answer the question. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I just try to do it for my own personal health. You know what I'm saying? Try to stay diesel. Plus, I grew up a fat old lineman, so now I'm trying to lean out so I can go ahead and just pop shirt whenever. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that's a personal choice. That's excellent. He's into health, people. Hold up now. What's all the laughing for? Are you laughing at Leroy or something? Well, do you consider yourself to be a celebrity? I'm just saying, because, you, you know, over here, what, you know, it's big to us. We see you on the television. Well, but, I mean, do you consider yourself a celebrity? Go. Uh, you know, somewhat. I guess you could say I'm a celebrity, man, because I, I try to stay humble and, you know, just realize it's just a job like anybody else go to work. But, you know, I am on TV. And, you know, people on TV, they put them on a pedestal, you know what I mean? So I guess you could say that, you know, because I go outside and strangers always asking to talk to me and take pictures of me and stuff. So I guess you could say that, man. But, you know, I just play it cool, man, because it can be gone. It can be here today and gone tomorrow. So I'm just enjoying the ride. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, tell us what is what a day in the life of Ronnie Operation Repo is like. Uh, pretty much a day in life, man. First of all, I wake up, like I said, wake up, go to Runyon Canyon, get my workout in. Other than that, I either got to do my work on repo or I'm auditioning for other projects or I'm, like, working on other projects I'm doing. Then in the evening time, I try to go back to the gym, get that workout in. And then the rest of the night, man, if I'm just not chilling in the house watching TV, I'm definitely on the Xbox Live busting ass on Madden. You know what I'm saying? Come holler at me if you think you vicious. You know what I'm saying? Just that. That's pretty much it, man. I be chilling. Tell Leroy and all the people out there what's next on Ronnie's oppo? What's next on Ronnie's agenda? And are there any new shows or movies you got planned or something for us, buddy? Hmm? Let us know. You know? Because maybe if you get in the movie, I can take your place on repo and I can take somebody's car. I'm Leroy and I'll take your car. Don't you step by me, buddy. I'll break you down. I'll break you off. I'm Leroy. But anyways, yeah, what's next on your agenda? And what movies or shows, new shows you got, you know, you're working on? I know you're working on some stuff, so, you know, just go ahead and give us a little slippage. All right. What's next? Hopefully big, big things, man. You know what I mean? Outside of Repo Show that's going to come out later this month. You know, I got a movie coming out called Book of Fire that's going to be out November 27th. Go check that out, man. Directed by Tommy Frazier. His directorial debut is going to be big time. Uh, I got a web series out on YouTube called 110. That's pretty, pretty good, too, right there. You know what I mean? I get to, you know, play the gangster role. And I got a few music videos out, you know, like Steve Angelo. I did one with One Direction, a little boy band. Uh, yeah, man, just keep working. But eventually I want to be in movies, man. Do some action movies. Well, seems as though you're in there enjoying that good old California sun. We ain't going to hose you up, but I really appreciate this. I definitely appreciate this, Mr. Ronnie Lee, Mr. Ronnie Operation Repo. Leroy is saying to you, thank you for the song. So what I did was thank you in another language, basically. Okay? So thanks for tuning in on the Jelly Vision. You know what I'm saying? This is Leroy. You have just got the scoop on True TV Operation Repo Ron and Lee. You got it here first on the Jellyvision.
Bingo. Appreciate you guys having me, man. I had a great time, you know what I'm saying? Uncle Leroy, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? And you've been watching Jelly Vision.